Okay, so for this tutorial, we'll be using the Shift UI asset from the Asset Store. And like usual, I'll leave a link in the description if you fancy picking this up for yourself. Now I've stuck the version number here in the bottom right hand corner, but you could put it in the about page or the credits page, or you could have it at the bottom of every menu. The point is the user has to be able to find it nice and easily. So in this case, when they start up the game, they can see it right there. Now, if I stop play and I come into my scene view, now I'm not interested in modal windows or main panel. I'm only interested in the splash screen where the version number is. And if I move the animation along, we can see there it is down the bottom. Now I'm going to add a script for this and it's called version display. And we'll open this up in Visual Studio. Here we go. And we can just make this an awake statement. I'll need to use Text Mesh Pro because that's what we're using here. And I want to require that this component has beside it a type of TM Pro text. There we go. Right, now we can pick that up as text. So get component, TM text. There we go. Okay, so this is where the magic happens. Text.text .text equals application.version. And that's it. It's that simple. We pop back into Unity. We press on our version display components. And we add our version display right there. Excellent. Now, if I press play, what we'll see is that script will run. It will pick up the version number from the project settings. And there we go, 1.2.5. And if I pop into my project settings, there we go. It's version 1.2.5 on the most amazing game that no one will ever play. Okay, so to prove this is actually working, if I stop play, I come back into the player settings and let's say we just did an update. I press play again then we should see it upgrade to 